वी आर इन द नेचुरल वर्ल्ड वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड इन दिस सेक्शन लेट अस लर्न अबाउट एम्फीबियंस एम्फीबियंस एज वी नो फ्रॉम टेक्सचुअल डेफिनेशंस इज समथिंग दैट लिव्स ऑन लैंड एज वेल एज वाटर बट इन ट्रू सेंस दैट इज नॉट द करेक्ट मीनिंग बिकॉज amphibian if it is living on water and land there could be many other organisms which can be called as an amphibian for example let's take a crocodile right it can also live on both land and water but can you call it an amphibian no then what is an amphibian what is the true meaning of amphibian let us look into that amphibian as the meaning of the word itself amphi means to and bios means life so you can see that amphibian is something that lives on not on land and water amphibian is something that has two life stages so what are those life stages you might have seen amphibian or if you have seen a common amphibian like a frog or a toad there is some stage which lives in water which looks like a fish but it is not a fish we call it as a tadpole it would definitely look like a fish but it lacks all the other fins only it has tail fins caudal fins we call it as but it would transform and become an adult which would look like either a frog or a toad or maybe lizard like creature which is called salamanders or newts or it may be a tailless or legless amphibian which is called sicilians so let us learn more about this amphibian if you see across the world tropics have the abundant diversity of amphibians and among amphibians itself frogs and toads constitute about 80 percentage of all the known amphibians in the world and so far there has been over 8000 species of amphibians which have been discovered in the world and if you come to indian scenario there are more than 440 amphibians among which if you see close to 400 species are frogs and toads so that says clearly that frogs and toads or anurans are the most diverse type of amphibians so the question arises why frogs and toads are so abundant right this is because of their variety of lifestyle they can literally live in all places possible they can be on land they can be on trees they can be in puddles of water they can be even living on a you no know, holes in the tree they can be even on the sides of the road so how these organisms have been able to diversify and how is their lifestyle let us have a picture into that now we are in the habitat of amphibians especially frogs and toads because those are the co most common groups so let us uh, see where we can look for some species of frogs let me just show you where ideally you can find a frog at any time in a forest or maybe near your houses okay so now we are here in this habitat you can see this is one of the best places to find tadpoles of the frogs because frogs like to lay their eggs in water because they need moisture and when they hatch young tadpoles would live in such pools but there can be exceptions for this there can be places like leaves where also they can lay their eggs so once they hatch out they would just move into the land and live their life as an adult on the land but there may be exceptions some frogs may like to live in water itself they may come out for breathing but otherwise they are feeding in water and some of the examples of frogs which can lay or live on this water is skittering frogs which are very common species in india and they can be calling on the surface of water they make sounds and other frogs which can live in water could be like species like uh, sri lankan painted frogs may be calling from water and also other uh, groups of uh, microhyla may be calling closer to the water bodies ephemeral ponds like this in uh, forests can act as a good breeding ground for many species of uh, frogs as you can hear behind me there are frogs already calling so tree frogs come to such places and congregate to lay their eggs which are called foam nest and they lay their eggs on you know somewhere on the surface or or the surface of twigs which is hanging over the water 
and they are very pretty sure once they hatch out into tadpoles they would fall into water and emerge as tadpoles and tadpoles would spend their time in these pools and uh, adults or young frogs would emerge and they would take their journey into the forest in jungle you can find some small bushes or shrubs and these act like ideal spots for some species of frogs like bush frogs and bush frogs are some of the most beautiful frogs species in the entire of western ghats and uh, they are generally small and the cousin species of this, that is the tree frogs are always on the trees they are arboreal in nature and they would live on tall trees they would descend whenever they want to mate and uh, reproduce and produce eggs land or terrestrial habitats are ideal home for many species of uh, frogs so they can live hidden under the leaf litter as you can see here and uh, they can also you know get into or below the rocks and rock crevices also sometimes can act as ideal micro habitat for many groups of frogs especially frog species or groups like cricket frogs and uh, even narrow mouth frogs prefer to live on land or sometimes even they can be close to water when they are breeding but otherwise they are terrestrial species many groups or many species of uh, folk tongue frogs belonging to the family dicroglossidae are generally terrestrial most species of amphibians especially frogs and toads become active in the night hence we call them as nocturnal species so how do they live in night and what is their secret life let's understand so night when there is no light how they are able to communicate you may be thinking because we are diurnal animals where we rely on light and also we can create artificial lights in the night but how about frogs right so basically as you can hear behind me there is lot of chorus going on can you hear me can you hear behind me what the sounds are going on yes so those are all different groups of uh, frogs calling right behind me so you must have understood how they communicate right they solely rely on acoustic communication in the night that means they are very vocal they can speak to one another and we have different devices which we can use to record their sounds and frog sounds are just like a signature of a human each Oh my god <laughs> frog mouth <laughs> oh. where should i start it from each species of uh, frog or toad has its own vocal repertoire that means they make different sounds and we can identify a species of uh, an amphibian or a frog and toad by just listening to their sounds generally amongst frogs males make sounds and females listen to these sounds and they can identify a male which has the best sound and she can choose him as the mate so they rely on vocal communication as a sexual choice and also males possess a special device which is present below their necks called vocal sacs which is able to amplify the sounds just like how we use a mic if you have lots of crowd who want to listen to you just like that there is an orchestra going on and they use their vocal sacs so that they can reach to the females which are very far
Amphibians are indicators of our environment. If there is any change in the environment, that can be reflected in their lifestyle. And amphibians are known to be beneficial to humans because they are predators. They can feed on insects and controlling insect population. They are also part of the food chain and they become food for other organisms like lizards and snakes and maybe for birds. Hence, their presence in the very environment serves a purpose. Not only this, they are also used in research which can give us ideas how sound can be interpreted and also using their sound we may also understand better the things about, about communication using acoustic signals. And a lot of chemi chemicals have been isolated from their skin which are of medicinal importance. And protecting these beautiful creatures is our duty. Even though these are, some of them are ugly, but they are an important part of our ecology and ecological system. So let's join our hands to protect these threatened group of animals. I hope you have enjoyed this video and also our adventure in the wild. And uh, if you like this video, please press the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.